is actually my second time filming this video today. I, I made a couple mistakes and realized at the end of the day that I had to start over. You might also occasionally hear my dog. She is exploring around here. You might hear her a little bit. So if you hear like some snorting or something, that's not me. That's the little pooch. Today I'm gonna go through all of my favorites from January. That's my dog. <laughs> come here, come here. That's Lyric. Hey Lyric. Mm. That was Lyric. But right now I wanna go through my favorites from January. There's quite a few lip products <laughs> in my favorites from January. And that doesn't normally happen, but it did this month. So one of the reasons for that is this Sephora give me some give me some new lip. It takes a second to focus there, but that's it. There's six products in here. You get a full-size Urban Decay lipstick in the color 1993 and a full-size Estee Edit lip pencil. Everything else is deluxe sample size, but they're really, really nice. Sephora favorites packages are usually a really great value because you get a lot of really good things in them. I really do enjoy these. If you are somebody who does not enjoy the plumping sensation, like it has that, that stingy effect um, a little bit, then you might not like it. It's not as intense as the Too Faced one that does that, but it's, it's there. So if you don't like that, you might not like the Buxom lip gloss. Another lip gloss that I like is the Marc Jacobs in Sugar Sugar. This one is more opaque and it has like a little bit of a shimmer. It feels really nice on the lips. It doesn't have the the stingy sensation that the Buxom one does. So you might prefer the Marc Jacobs better if you don't like the plumping effect of lip glosses. I do have three of the new Marc Jacobs. I will swatch these for you. These are amazing. If you ask me, this lip product is very similar to the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lips. The one thing I find that is different is these ones do not oxidize and turn into a darker, brighter color over time like the ColourPop ones do and these ones also transfer less. And I don't mean, when I say that, I don't mean like it's gonna transfer less when you kiss somebody or when you take a drink of something. What I mean is it's not going to just mysteriously end up on your chin or your nose and you are like, how? How did that get there? I didn't do anything that would cause that to happen. So I know that happens with me when I wear the ColourPop ones. I can't be the only one. I hope I'm not the only one. <laughs> Another favorite I have for the month of January is this L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. I am a little late on board with this one. It just took me a while before I tried it, that's all. I do find it to be very, very similar to the Too Faced Born This Way, both in coverage and look and how it applies. To me, it's a very similar product. So if you always wanted to try the Too Faced Born This Way, the I would say the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow is a, it's a pretty good drugstore dupe for it. I even like applying both of them with a beauty blender. I am wearing this foundation today, by the way, the L'Oreal Infallible. That brings me next to this Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder. Now, this is this is a newer product from them. They do have two other setting powders, one that is an illuminating one and one that's matte. This one is called the Perfect Setting Powder, so this is now their third setting powder. This is available in two different shades. It's available in Translucent Light, which is the one that I use, and it's also available in Translucent Deep, which I do have a sample size to give away. It's a deluxe sample and I tried really hard to get it in both shades but I was only able to get my hands on the deep so I do have the deep one to give away I will give details on the giveaway at the end of the video 
and so just stay tuned for that. Back to the copper effects here. This has a nice like stopper on it so that you don't waste a ton of product. And what I really like about this powder is that it definitely gives my skin like a porcelain look without making it look too powdery and it doesn't give me a white cast at all. So I enjoy that and I can use it both under my eyes and all over my face which to me is perfect. And I have dry skin so my skin can be a little bit finicky when it comes to powders but this one I find works like a charm and it also does not contain any talc which is different from their other two setting powders and also from um, my my other setting powder that I do use and like a lot though. The RCMA No Color Powder, that one does contain talc so if you were looking for a powder that does not have talc, I would say this new Cover FX one is a good deal. Clinique Pep Start eye cream all I have is a deluxe sample but I can tell you this I will definitely be purchasing this when I run out because this this cream is did I call it a powder I might have called it a powder but this cream I can tell you like this this cream under my eyes is the perfect level of moisturization under my makeup it doesn't cause my makeup to slide off but it gives me enough moisturization for my dry skin to last throughout the day and not have any dryness poking through so I really love this it feels good it's it's a really nice price point also this Clinique one is about half the price of Alginist and it works just as good so I will definitely be purchasing the Clinique Pep Start when I run out of this. So that is definitely a favorite for me. How many times can I say definitely? Definitely. Okay. I have two more products to go over with you. This, this is the Cogendo Aqua Foundation. It is, it is a sheer coverage foundation. Leave a comment below if you would like to see me demo this foundation because it is a very sheer foundation. It's not one that I would typically wear on camera, but you guys already saw me without any makeup on whatsoever, so I think I can handle showing myself in a sheer foundation. So what's wonderful about this foundation is even though it's very sheer, when you apply it, it looks like your skin and the way it does sink into your pores, it pretty much makes it look like you don't have any pores at all. I would not suggest using any silicone based primers under this or any pore filling primers because they sort of make this foundation break apart. I do use moisturizing primers and they seem to work fine. The way it just fills everything in is perfect. Since it's sheer, if you have a lot of pigmentation issues, then it might not be for you. But if you are more of a textural issue type of person, then I would definitely suggest giving it a shot. And if you're sort of in the middle and there's just certain areas that you want a little bit more coverage, you could always just use, you could always just like spot conceal before you put the foundation on. Or you could even up the coverage a little bit by mixing a different foundation with it or those cover effects drops if you ha happen to have those. There's one more thing. Okay, this uh, Tattoo Junkie Lip Paint. This is a drugstore item. It, I believe it was $4. It is a liquid matte lipstick. This one is in the shade Skinny Dip. And it is, it is what's on my lips right now. This one is, it's on par with all of the other liquid matte lipsticks that I do currently enjoy. Um, and I was very surprised because it's the first one from the drugstore that I can say that about because a lot of times they call themselves matte and they're not really matte or, or they're just super uncomfortable. So this one is different. This one is pretty much like a similar formula to, you know, that's my dog. A similar formula to all of the other brands. This is basically a similar formula to 
the higher end brands. And this is the other item that I do have to give away for you. I find that the lipstick is the is what's worth the four dollars and I would buy more of them if they had more available they only had the nude and the red so I figured I would I would give one away so if you would like to enter the giveaway there's going to be two winners one to receive this and one to receive the cover effects all you really have to do is be subscribed to my channel and you're entered and if you just leave a comment below lips or cover effects to let me know which one you're interested in winning that would be great if you do want another entry you can go on to Instagram the thumbnail of this video <laughs> will be on Instagram if you just share that to your page state in the comments whether or not you want the lips or the cover effects and you can hashtag that ailerons giveaway. I'll have the description in below in the comments of the exact rules of this of this giveaway just so that everything is clear. I am glad that you came back to watch my second video and I will see you again soon. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you. Bye!